<laughs> All right, we're showing you how to catch some bluegill out here with some lures, baby. Yeah. I got the Panther Martin. And He's got the I got Joe the fly. Joe fly. We're gonna figure out which one's best, but you know, either way, we're gonna show you how to catch these bluegill. Well, look at whose fish is bigger. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, size don't matter. That's what Luke always says. All right, so today we're going after the bluegill. So what we're really focusing on are drop-offs, troughs, and channels. They'll be hanging out around those areas. And also structure is very key. They're pretty structure-oriented fish. So fish the banks where there's gonna be a lot more downed timber, trees in the water, rocks. That's where they'll be hanging out. And because they're so structure-oriented, once you find one, there's likely gonna be a whole lot more. So keep fishing that area, and you'll likely pick up quite a few. Oh my God, what I tell y'all, what I tell y'all, fish the structure. I mean, we caught probably 10 bluegill already, right from this log right here. The log's dipping into a hole, perfect structure. Bluegill, they're gonna be pulled up there. So when you catch one, keep fishing, you'll catch more. And that's all we've been doing. I'm gonna get my lure in there yeah. while they, they, they're catching so many fish, I can't even put a cast in. <laughs> there we go, baby. That's what we're going for, the old bluegill. Panther Martin strikes again, baby. Just like we were saying. So we're here, it's super shallow here. But over there, it gets a little deeper. So that's what I was targeting. I have a couple split shots just to give me more casting distance. Threw it out over there in that deep pool and this guy hit right away. So that's what you're looking for. Play with how much weight you add to the line. If it's super shallow, you might not even need this weight because you don't want your lure obviously hitting the bottom, hanging up on rock. But if it is a little deeper and you need more casting distance, don't be afraid to put a couple split shots on there. The one difference between the Panthamar and Joe Fly, Joe Flies are going to be a lot more lightweight, the actual lure. So they're much better if you're trying to fish super shallow because you don't have to worry about it really getting down to the bottom. You can reel it in much slower because it won't sink as quickly as this one. So that can make it a lot more effective in the shallow water. As you'll see, Rachel will be picking fish up here, all in here. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Catching bluegill on lures today. Woo, what type of lure are you using? Joe Fly. That's right, that's my favorite and one of the best lures for bluegill. We love the Joe Flies for bluegill because you can reel them nice and slow because they're so lightweight. Rach, where'd you pick that up? Uh, right next to a log. So what I do is I reel it in nice and slow and that's what brings the bite. Let that, that big good? sucker. All right, we're gonna let this sucker go. <laughs> All right, woo. <laughs> we got some structure. I can already tell we haven't fished it yet, but we're gonna be picking up some bluegill left and right off this thing. That's what you're looking for. Deep hole, down timber, fish. Jack got a tree pounder. <laughs> the fight, man. It's all about the fight. Keep that rod tip up. There we go. These things, favorite thing about these bluegill, they're just so pretty, you know? They might be small, but they put up a good little fight for their size, and definitely one of the most pretty fish in the creek. Right in this structure over here, right like Luke was saying. Found one, so we're gonna cast some more there. What do we got here? Another bluegill, baby. There you go. See, you don't need to be using worms and bobbers. The lures are so much more fun because you get to actually throw them out and it's more active. And it's awesome oh, yeah. when you're waiting. Oh, Jack just hooked up. Like, awesome when you're waiting, like Luke was saying. And you know, what did I just say about that? Well, I said we're going to pick up quite a few off of that. A little down timber and a hole. Bluegill paradise, okay? That's right. Bluegill they're sipping, paradise. they're sipping their Mai Tais, they're hanging, they're chilling. And there's little lures coming by and they just go, um, 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 and we got I'm them. I'm hungry. Uh -huh. See ya. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's what happens when we try to get the cool shots. You might lose a fish here and there. But again, on that structure right over there, on that structure pile, on that log pile, that's where they are. There's one, there's five, you know? Yep. Awesome. Where there's one, there's six. Great thing about the Joe's fly is that you can keep moving along the creek too. We're exploring a new creek. We want to see as much of this creek as possible. We aren't going to spend our time jigging stuff and working a worm. We're just ripping. That's a great thing about it. 
You can just rip, rip, rip. Luke, Rachel, and I, we love to rip and catch more fish. Rip and catch more fish, baby. Yeah, blue. There you go. It's all day. Just, you know, get one of these lures. Get a couple of these lures, different colors. Come out to a creek, explore new creeks. You'll be catching fish all day. There's nothing more fun than that. Get a little ultralight rod and reel. One of these nice spinner lures. And you will be catching bluegill all day on these lures. And it's a blast. I mean, we come out here every day. So while we've been fishing all these creeks, you've noticed these beautiful, beautiful trees. You know, they got like little pink, pink ends on them. Super pretty. Comment below if you know what they're called. Luke says, he says, uh, palm. I think it's a palmetto. I just jumped in my head when I saw it. I'm not sure though. Isn't that a cheese? A palmetto cheese? Pimento. Ah. Come on, Southern girl. It's a pimento cheese. This is a palmetto tree. I think that's the uh, state tree of South Carolina, right? Could be. Hey, palmetto blow. You guys let us know. We don't know. I know a pawpaw tree, and that's about it. Rachel's on a hog. Bluegill on a Joe Flyler. Uh, Any techniques right You know, you want to cast super close to the structure, but not onto the structure, because then you get, you know, tangled up. Go. How about the current? What do you do? Uh, you're gonna go right across the current, you know, present that lure in front of a bunch of different fish's faces, and you're gonna catch one. All about getting in front of the faces, putting it in the current, you got the nice bow action, more time, more fish. See, I watch the videos, I know the tips. Hot tip. We're giving all of our tips on how to catch these bluegill on the lures. If you have any tips, any lures that you especially like, feel free to drop a comment below and help people learn to catch more fish. That's what we're all about here. That's right, that's right. All right, we got some nice slack water on the edge of this rapid here. Oh, oh yeah, yep, yep. just like we said. That's a great spot, because you know, the fish will hang out in the slack water, waiting for bait to come, and they'll just be sitting there, just like this little guy was. I'm sure there's some bigger ones in there too. Booyah, we'll let this one go. So all you're gonna wanna do, when you're trying to get the bluegill on the lure, you wanna put your lure up in that current and bring it right into the slack water going to be acting basically as a natural bait coming down the rapid and that's where you're going to hook up on them so throw it up there bring it with the current right on that slack water edge that seam a good way to tell if you're like trying to learn i mean look for the bubbles see those bubbles they're not moving at all that's the slack water there but eventually you'll be able to just see it and you'll know exactly where you want to fish you're going to be able to really pick apart a stream figure out what parts the fish and you'll be good to go booyah whoa he looks cool It's really dark. Oh, maybe not as cool as I thought he looked, but sucker fish. For the sucker. Ooh. <laughs> it is a bluegill or a red breast of some fish or a panfish of some sort. Whatever you want to call it. Oh yeah, so pretty. All day, baby, we're just casting over there. It gets a little deep right off that bank. Got a little shade line. They're stacked up there. They are stacked up. Bye bye, Mr. Bluegill. Got the last one of the day. We're heading back now. I, I just got so tired. All I had today was chips and peanut butter. So now I know how Uncle Andy, why he needs that nap every now and again. <laughs> but yeah, hey, that's how you catch bluegill on a lure in these beautiful creeks. Got a nice, pretty one. Final one of the day. Hope y'all have a good time. Check out our other videos too.